is always changing. New technology is in, old is out. And that is nowhere more evident than in the utility industry. Where power companies have historically taken on an enormous task to electrify the world using the best tools of their time. Its dedicated workforce proved themselves from the very beginning, running transmission lines across the nation, one pole at a time. The demand for electric power was always met with commitment, new ideas, and better equipment. And today is no different with the arrival of a multifaceted machine that's steadily transforming utility line work, the Line Track. Housed in one compact package, conceptualized at the job site, engineered over time, fully tested in the field. Line Track has been proven on hundreds of T&D job sites. It makes the need for multiple vehicles and helicopters a thing of the past and gives today's linemen an impressive set of four basic tools. Dozer, digger derrick, crane, and bucket truck. Many of the industry's needs can now be met with this cost-cutting machine. And the story of how it came to be is best told by the man who created it. Designing the line track, it took approximately three years to more or less perfect the model that you see today. It's a model we're happy with. We've got over 1,200 hours on our machine. We've set a lot of poles. We've been in a lot of different types of terrain. It was, it's been about eight years ago when my brother and I were out in the field and pulling these trucks up these steep and muddy hills and one of our chokers snapped, which was attached to the line truck, and the line truck went sliding down the hill. I was fortunate that the linemen didn't wreck their vehicle. They stayed in the tracks. That's where we came up with the line track. The machine that we designed is more or less a four-in-one machine. Uh, it covers a dozer line truck, the bucket truck and a crane. The reason why we put all these pieces on one machine is we've started out working with the utility companies trying to get their equipment into locations that were almost impossible. So we felt it was a lot safer to have one machine that was capable of reaching these locations and it made sense to us to design something that took care of everything, all aspects of it. You go anywhere a uh, bucket truck or line truck can't go. Well, I've been operating over 22 years. I've never been around a machine this amazing. Um, we can drill holes, set poles, uh, fly a guy feet in the air. You don't need line trucks, bucket trucks, anything out there. And that's all you need. Um, you can leave everything else at home. It's pretty amazing. Line track adds to the dimension of the type of work you can perform in the field. This doesn't mean you eliminate using all your other equipment. What it means is 
you send the line track into the rougher terrain area where you don't rip the mirrors off the side of the truck, where you, you don't get stuck in mud and they got to be towed out and you pull the axles out from underneath the truck. You send the standard digger derricks, the standard bucket trucks, into the locations where that piece of equipment works most comfortably. And you put the line track out where it's muddy, rainy, snowy, uh, a tough environment to be in, steep slopes, rocky terrain. You put that piece of equipment where it can build the road, can remove the uh, structure, set a new pole, offset lines, reset them. You take that into the rough area and that's when the line track starts to pay off. They don't call us for the easy ones. The line track is normally called out in emergency situations. Came through on every pole that we've been called to, and we've been called to several hundred. Some of the hurdles we encountered in building this machine were a lot of uh, negative comments because not too many people have tried to build such a machine, so there was a lot of uh, hesitation when we first started out in the field with it. To prove to the utility industry that this machine's capable. I've been in and around equipment for over 30 years as an operator and as a welder mechanic. And I've never seen any machine as versatile as this. Because when I started here, Nathan called me and asked me if I thought I could build this machine. And I told him yes. Two days later, I watched the machine work on a job. And the following Monday, I started building them. It's very satisfying. When the, when the machine's finished and we send one to Connecticut or Arkansas or Michigan and the guys back there think it's the most amazing machine they've ever been around. And the dozer's built with low ground pressure and has a six in one blade so you can build road, build pads. You need to level yourself up for the crane to work. You're already, the dozer's there for you to do that. It's got plenty of power. It has those 30 inch wide tracks on it for moving around in the snow and in the mud. And what's impressive about the track design is it's less than eight pounds per square inch on the ground. And the capabilities of going over any terrain, the environmental impact is considerably less. The line track looks like a mean grizzly bear. It walks like a rabbit. Well, let's face it, the environment is a serious topic in today's world, and I've been on projects where when I came in it was too late, and they've had four trucks in there, numerous vehicles stuck, the land was torn up, and we've proved to them that if they call us, we'll come in one shot, dig the hole, set the pole, move the wires, and we're out of there, and you hardly even know we're there. It's capable of just about anything as far as the dozer operated with the crane on the back. The dozer set up with a long track so that it disperses the weight of the crane. So you, when you're operating it, you really don't notice the difference in the weight. I chose the Paul Finger crane due to the fact that it's probably, it, it is the best crane on the market. Uh, we looked at designing a straight standard boom on this dozer, but it would be cumbersome and bulky and to get the reach that we demanded required uh, more or less a knuckle crane where it folds up, it stows away behind the tractor, it's not stuck up over the roof, it's compact. Uh, the knuckle crane also works in tight quarters. Uh, I've had to dig and set poles five feet off my bumper in tight areas. 
We've surprised a lot of people out in the field that were amazed how much this crane can pick and how far it can pick it and how far it can reach. So it, every day it surprises you. Every day you, you run the, the line track. Uh, you got less personnel on site, a better risk factor and safety. You get better and better and more productive and it's uh, a lot safer than the alternative. We were blessed to have Tennessee Valley Authority as our first customer. We got a call from PBA. They had a specialized project they needed to do. I think it was 80 some structures. And I said, well, how about if we drop by and do a demo? We went out to the site. I asked them, how long do you think it will take to do this site uh, without the line track? If you just came in here to change out this structure, said they had to build an earthen platform and then remove the earth. It would take them roughly seven days to complete that project. Uh, Nathan got in, uh, operated it, walked it down to the site, and we were loaded back on the, the low boy uh, in four hours. The line track has a tremendous amount of hydraulic flow and pressure, and that's the uh, two key elements in an auger drive motor. The normal standard PSI is right around 3,000 PSI. Um, line track puts out about 4,100, 4,200 PSI, and that's horsepower in layman's term for hydraulics. What impresses me about the crane is 360 degrees rotation, non-stop. And the weights that it can lift are amazing. It's almost 80 feet off the ground at full extension and can lift over 1,500 pounds. It carries the man baskets, easy mount. What's very satisfying when you're finished building, you know you got a man up in the air and everything's gonna work and stay together. Absolutely satisfying.